Hi, I'm Valencia Charles, and welcome to Human Perspective. Joining me today is my father, Simon Charles, who immigrated to this country from the Caribbean at the age of 10 and is a current project manager at VideoJet Technologies. How are you? Hi, Valencia. Thank you for inviting me today. Of course. So, where exactly in the Caribbean did you grow up? Well, I grew up in a small island called Antigua. That's uh, probably 50 miles south of Puerto Rico on the chain of islands. And what was it like growing up there? Um, it was a small place, um, small island, 108 square miles, uh, pretty much the size of Chicago, 90,000 population. So it was very small, very um, family orientated, um, a lot of animals, uh, fruits and trees and things of that nature. So. And so much fun. And how did you come to the States? Well, I came to the States at 10. How did I get here? By plane. Um, that's what you asked me. Uh, but I came at 10 and I moved from Antigua to the Bronx, New York. And what was that? What was the difference in living on a small island to being in a big city like New York? Well, moving from a small island of 90,000 people to a city like New York that has 11 million people, um, it was it was a culture shock. Um, uh, had a lot more people in school. Um, had a lot more noise and, and traffic and buildings that I've never seen before. So it was a it was a culture shock. Was it like difficult to kind of adjust to that sudden shift? Um, yes and no. So I, you know, I lived with my family obviously. So um, that helped me kind of assimilate. But difficulties came. You know being a kid in school and dealing with people from a different culture and having a different culture myself with um, language and things of that nature. So although we spoke, both speak, speak English, um, the English and the, the dialect is, is different. So. And how did you move here to Chicago? Well, I moved to Chicago in 2002. Um, I came to Chicago because I was offered a, a sales uh, position to open up a, a sales office in the Chicago land area. How old were you? I was 20 at the time. Was it kind of weird moving so suddenly at such a young age, kind of from one place to another? Well, it was the first time I lived outside my home by myself, so um, it was actually exciting. Um, I found it to be fun. I had roommates. Um, we, we all worked together, so it was, it was pretty easy. And you went into the National Guard. So what was like your choice behind that, going into the National uh, Guard? Well, the main reason I joined the National Guard was to um, really uh, get um, a grant for my education. Um, I wanted to go to college and I didn't know how to pay for it. So it was like the, the, uh, the next rational choice for me. And what was it like in the Army National Guard? How long did, were you there for? I was there for six years. Um, I left as a sergeant um, in the transportation unit. Um, my time in the National Guard was, was fun. I had a good time. Um, it was uh, different, different adventures, met, met different people, uh, got to learn a few things about myself and, and a few things about um, how to lead a group of people. What places did you go to? Like, did you go anywhere where you were not sure about? Well, the furthest I went was Canada. So, um, you know, I didn't go to Afghanistan or Iraq or any of those places. Um, but um, I did spend some time with the Canadian Army, and that was fun. What was the difference between the American Army and the Canadian Army? Well, the Canadian Army, they wear um, berets, and the women, they, they, um, they have to braid their hair um, in the Canadian Army, where in the U.S., um, that we don't do that here. So going back um, to your education, going to college, why did you want to go to college? What did you want to kind of do? Did you want to like maybe expand kind of your job, you know, things like that? Well, the well, company, company I work for now, I've been working uh, for that company for 13 years. For the first eight years I've worked at that company, I was, uh, I went from a uh, packer on the line um, to a ink mixer. And while I was mixing ink, I realized that my opportunity for growth was was not as um, plentiful as if I was to uh, get a college education. Uh, another reason I wanted to go back to school was uh, because I wanted to obviously 
make a better life, um, earn more money, and um, pursue whatever dreams that um, I could think of after the fact. So. And what did you go to college for? Well, I initially went to college for business, and I changed my major to communications. I found that um, business was fun, but um, I was more leaning towards a marketing and sales um, career at the time, I thought. Uh, but obviously, things change. And so, after um, you graduated, when did you graduate college? I graduated in 2016. And... What what did you do with like your degree? What was you hoping for to do, and what did you end up accomplishing? So while I was a, a mixer at the company, I also participated in what we call uh, kaizen events. Um, kaizen is a Japanese word for continual improvement. Um, I was also involved in other process improvement um, initiatives within the company. So I was able to meet different people and network. Um, through my networking, I was able to uh, move to a, a uh, supply chain logistics department where I was a, um, a materials buyer in manufacturing. So I started there. Um, so once I got my college degree, I was able to move into that um, position. And then, as I said, I've been with the company for 13 years and most of my growth within the company has happened um, in the last six years since I had my college degree. And how old were you when you were in college? Well, I actually went to, back to school when I was 27. So I was what they call a late bloomer. Um, I did not go to school full time, so it took me a while to graduate. But I had a full time job. Um, I had um, a full time job at home, and I had a full time job um, at my job uh, in a video jet. And so after, um, so what are you doing now, really? So now I'm a project manager. So as I said, um, over the past six years, that's the most growth I've made in my company so far. So obviously my college degree paid off because I was able to um, move from, actually move three positions uh, since I've received my college degree. So my current role as a project manager, I work within a, what they call a value added engineering group where we um, pretty much do improvements on products that we currently have um, to maximize um, value and uh, customer um, value as well. And you're back in school, correct? Yes, yeah, so right now I'm pursuing an MBA um, in supply chain logistics. Um, again, um, I think education is important if you want to grow, especially within a company. Um, so my goal is to uh, finish my MBA and uh, what I really want to do after is, is be a teacher at a community college um, to try to help students like myself when I was at community college uh, to pursue their dreams. And so what were the overall kind of difficulties and shifts and do you think that like where you end up now is something that you're very like comfortable with? Well comfortable, I'm not comfortable with anything until the end really. Um, that's what I'm trying to always uh, improve myself um, but overall it was a, a long journey but it was a it was a good journey because I'm able to um, pursue whatever uh, dreams and and ambitions I, I want to so Were you ever do you ever consider going back to Antigua no um, I I like it here in the United States I think um, this is a greatest country in the world and um, I will go back to Antigua to visit um, but uh, most of my opportunities are here. Well thank you for coming on the show. Thank you Valencia, thanks for having me. Of course. I'm Valencia Charles and thank you for watching People in Perspective.